Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from AzureAutomation.com and welcome to another video from Azure Automation. And today we'll be talking about the experience of working with SpecFlow using C Sharp in Mac operating system. That too with the power of a writer. And you'll also see the plugin which is created by the SpecFlow team is going to be also working as awesome as Windows. But I could also see it is more awesome than Windows itself. And I will show you what I really mean. So I'm going to first open the writer here and this is the version and i have already released a video on the rider which supports the apple m1 chipset and that's exactly i'm going to be showing over here to you so this version is actually the natively supported version of the apple m1 the 21 2021.3.3 so you can download it and install it it's going to be much much faster if you are using the apple m1 so i'm going to create a new solution this time and I'm going to choose the spec flow over here. I have already installed the spec flow plugin. And that's the reason you can actually see that we already have a spec flow project there. And I'm going to choose this spec flow project. And then I'm going to give it a name. I'll call this as spec flow demo. And I'm just going to use the .NET framework version 6, the latest version. I'm going to use the test framework as X unit. I'm going to include the Fluent assertion. So all these things are going to be pretty much exactly the same, like how we do in the Windows operating system. And that's what it's coming up over here in just one screen in the rider, which is great. I'm going to create the project. That's creating a solution. And the project is going to be created. Boom. That's it. That's quite faster. And you can see that it automatically adds all the dependencies of the .NET 6 and the packages required for the spec flow, something like the spec flow plus living doc, spec flow X unit, and then the X units and the Fluent assertions and the Microsoft.NET test SDK. So everything is automatically added for us based on the templates, which is provided by the SpecFlow team. And also it creates the scaffolding codes like driver, fixtures, hooks, and steps. Those things are pretty much exactly the same that you can see in the windows. But the good thing that I really like to be honest is going to be this one so if i just do a control and if i hover my mouse over here just bring that line there just to go into that particular step definition you can actually do that right clicking and then you can go to the declaration or the usage something like this or you can also do the control and then you can just click it so it directly goes over there this is quite awesome actually and also the other good thing about this spec flow in the mac operating system that too in the writer ide is that it is going to be more neat and clean for example if i start typing any of the code it is going to be becoming much much better in writer than visual studio 2022 itself for example if i'm going to write a step over here and i'm going to say and i enter the following numbers uh, so this is just a dummy numbers yeah and then i'm just going to say uh number and then i'm just going to say digits over here and then the number is going to be for example one and the digit is going to be for example one and then i'm going to say two the digit is going to be two and for the three i'm going to say the digit as three something like that and you can see that the scrolly line actually indicates that the step definition is not really mapped and this bulb symbol actually helps us identify that if i click this it's going to tell you that create a step and once I click this create a step, it also asks you where do I need to create this on the hooks because it actually has the binding attribute or on the calculator step definitions. You can choose that or you can also create a new binding class. So these are really cool because these are something which were missing at least this individual level in Visual Studio 2022. I have never seen this coming up. So it's all coming up over here, which is super. And now I can start writing the code. And other good thing about the writer itself is because you all know that writer is the software created by the IntelliJ team. And this is the same company which create ReSharper for Visual Studio 2022, which means it is going to give you all the power of going into the particular codes, definitions and declarations for you much, much easily. So I'm going to show you what I really mean. So if I start installing any one of the NuGet package, and I really like one of the NuGet package in the spec flow, so if i just type the spec flow over here you can see that it's going to show you all the nuget packages i'm going to install this package the spec flow dot assist dynamic and i'm going to click this plus button that's going to install the package for us that's it and then i'm going to do this i need to actually use a dynamic instance to be created for 
that particular table. So I'm just going to type something like dynamic. And then I'm going to say, you can see that it automatically brings that for me. Uh, this is all coming based on the GitHub Copilot that I have already installed. And you can see that it automatically brings what I'm going to be doing next dot. And you can see that once I type it, it's also going to bring up the namespaces which are not even imported. So you can see that I have not really imported any of those things over here. So if I just go and if I just do create dynamic instance, it is going to be added for me or I can just type create dynamic instance and you can see that it's going to be added automatically over here as using tiktok.specflow.assist. That is great. And now I can start writing the code to see how I can be able to do that. I mean, I don't really need the create dynamic instance because that's going to be a dynamic set. I need to use the dynamic set. And then I'm going to do a for each of the data in, maybe we can call this as datas uh, in the data. And then I'm going to just do a console dot right line of the numbers the numbers of data dot number is going to be the data dot digit something like that so that's what i'm going to be giving over here i think that's what i have defined so it's going to be small n and it's going to be small yeah digits which is all right so i'm going to save this i'm just going to remove the scenario pendings because those are not required and now i'm going to go to the unit test over here this is where the tests are going to be defined and if I try doing a build uh, solution, that's going to build the whole solution for us. And now if I try running this particular test, it is going to run, but it's not going to really print the value into the console because it's not going to be doing that for you. Rather, we can actually do a breakpoint here and let's try debugging the unit tests so that it will hit the breakpoint and we can see the numbers if they are really going to be coming up for us. And you can see that the breakpoint is going to be coming. And you can see that the string is going to be evaluated as one and the digit is going to be one, which is all cool. And similarly, you can go into the console and you can see how the values are going to be printed. The number is one and one. Similarly, you can see the whole thing is going to be printed for us on the console once the whole execution is going to happen. So I can put a breakpoint here and you can see that the whole number is all printed. And if I just execute it and you can see that the living documentation was generated and things are going to be happening it is not going to really print on this particular uh, logs over here but it is going to be printed on the console okay, that's what we have defined here so you can see that the experience of working with a spec flow in rider is really really awesome because it is more cleaner and more neater at the same time the way the intelligence work is also much much better and the most important thing that i can see using the spec flow in the rider is that we can use the same IDE not only just in the Windows operating system but also in the Mac operating system that do the same experience. And I have many courses, especially on the spec flow with C sharp. And there are cases where students always face issue while running the spec flow scenarios on the Mac operating system. So the solution for this problem is use Mac operating system with a rider for running the tests in the spec flow world because that's going to be much much awesome and it's going to be really really helpful and it's going to keep our life much much easier and simple so that's it guys this is about the spec flow experience in rider that too in the apple m1 chipset it is quite awesome so try using it and this is the id of my choice at least for 2022 not visual studio 2022 really thank you